Hello everyone, welcome back. This is the Meridian Aperture. First of all, I would like to thank you so much for 200 subscribers. I was not expecting such a big audience to be interested in my videos and I always love reading through the comments that you guys post and I try to reply to all of them if I can. This is the Corsair Harpoon RGB wireless gaming mouse and here in the UK it costs about £55. That's pretty worth it considering everything you get here. It supports up to a one millisecond response time so you of course need the monitor that supports it and you also need to be using the dongle that they have provided here. However it does also come with Bluetooth. So if you don't want to use the dongle or you have something which has a constraint in ports, then by all means you can use Bluetooth. Over Bluetooth, of course, you'll get a slower response time, 8 milliseconds. From the look of my fairly large size hands, you can see it does fit pretty nicely in there. It is a fairly small mouse, and if I hold it in my palm as I would be playing on it, my fingers just about reach the end. Sometimes I'll have my fingers up like this and it's a bit more comfortable, but honestly, use it how you want to. And it's really light, it glides along my mouse mat pretty nicely. It does of course also have RGB, so I'll turn that on in a second. On the bottom here you can see if you switch the switch upwards it goes to the 2.4 GHz mode which connects to this dongle here and that will give you your one millisecond response time on supported monitors. You also have the Bluetooth option at the bottom, which of course you can connect to anything that has Bluetooth, including phones and tablets. So if I just turn it on, now it's not connected to anything, but it does turn on the RGB lighting. That does look pretty cool, and you can turn it off if you wish to save a bit of battery power in the IQ software, which comes with any of Corsair's products which you can download. I will put a link in the description for you guys if you want to download the IQ software. I'm going to go around and give you guys a listen to how clicky all of the buttons are because they are pretty tactile and despite the price tag it's not as cheap sounding as it sounds. Especially these buttons here, these are really clicky. You can use this in wide mode when it's charging. You will still get that one millisecond response time as well. So it's got its USB port in here. You just take your cable with the pointy bit facing upwards and slide it in like so. And it plugs in like that. And it looks and feels like a normal wired mouse when it's in this mode which of course is pretty nice but I do always prefer of course having it wireless so if I can I'll have it charged whenever I'm not using it and when you have it in either Bluetooth or 2.4 gigahertz mode in the bottom right hand corner of your display on your computer if you have the icon switched on there's a little battery icon which you can see how much battery you have remaining I would have liked if they'd included a battery percentage so you could have seen exactly how much battery you had remaining, but it's nice nevertheless to have it there so you can see when you're at half battery or when you're running low. The battery on this is pretty good, 60 hours of playtime is claimed by Corsair. So far I've found that in my long gaming sessions it never runs out of battery before the end of a session. I've had to charge it a few times, of course, as I've been using it a lot in the last month or so. But battery is pretty good from what I've seen personally. On the bottom here, we do have a 10,000 dpi sensor. Now, you can't see this light that you can see through this camera because it's infrared. So only your camera will be able to really pick it up incredibly responsive. In fact, there is actually a mode where you can set it up so it will draw a straight line for you. So if you hold it steady and move it down the screen, it tracks the way you're trying to move it and keeps it in a straight line. That's a feature that you can turn on if you want to. It is not on by default. In the bottom of the mouse, there is a little tray that you can open up and you can actually store the dongle so you don't lose it if you're 
moving property or whatever, you can store it in there so it's safe and sound and you don't lose it. Here's a look at it from the side. It's quite an ergonomic shape, I would say. It's definitely very comfy to use. And then from the front. Now even the wired version has this gap at the front, which I think looks a bit odd on a wired mouse. On the wireless, of course, it makes sense. So you can plug in the cable to charge it and you can use it while you are charging it. On each side, we do have rubber grips. And that, of course, gives you more security when you're playing fast paced games. So you're not going to have it slip out of your hand very easily. One thing that I do enjoy is that it doesn't seem to collect fingerprints or finger grease for that matter. So if you do have shreddy pores, then you're not going to have any issues with this because of the type of plastic it's using. It's grippy, it's matte, it's pretty nice overall, and it feels high quality. Without configuring any of the Corsair IQ settings, you can change the colour of this at the top by just pressing this button here. Now this is the DPI button, which would normally change the speed at which the mouse cursor on the screen moves. However, I like to keep this switched off because uh, just in case I accidentally press it. I have had that issue in the past before they introduced the off button in the software where I would accidentally press this when clicking and it would of course mess up my DPI on screen. So when I was playing games, the cursor would just go everywhere and go flying. So it's nice that they've added that feature. You can program these buttons as well to do other things in the IQ software. Uh, these ones are standard, are forward and back buttons, which I do like for playing games, especially Fortnite. I do use these two buttons, but I believe you can configure them to do whatever you please. So that's my review of the Corsair Harpoon RGB wireless gaming mouse. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you again so much for 200 subscribers. Please do look out for further videos. I know it's been a while since I last posted, but I am looking to continue making content for you guys. Please do let me know down in the comments what kind of videos you guys would like to see. I'm thinking of doing videos on gaming computers, etc. As to my own personal setup, I'm going to be making some upgrades. If you guys would like to see a video of my full setup, then please leave a like and comment down below. As always, please like, comment and subscribe and hit the bell down below to receive notifications every time I post a new video. And I will see you in the next one.